Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about the person that you are thinking about or connecting with. What are their thoughts, feelings towards you at this time? And what are their intentions towards you in the future? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so it won't resonate for every Leo watching and not every Leo reading on my channel will resonate for you. All right, so let's see, spirit angels, cards, messages for Leo, please. Who or what is coming towards Leo in love, spirit? Okay, we have taking action. I keep getting this card. Movement, action, courage, time to make a move. Okay. So something is definitely coming towards you. Tell me more for Leo. Who or what is coming towards Leo spirit? Who or what is coming towards Leo in love? No, we have child, something new. Child card is a card about beginnings, innocence, Sometimes it can mean children, doesn't have to be though. When I see this child card, I think of the fool. Can I get one more? False person. Hmm. So there's something you need to be aware of. Whatever is coming towards you, it may not seem, but there might be more to it than, you, than appears or that you first, what can I talk? <laughs> I know what I want to say. I just can't get it. Whatever's coming towards you here, whatever move this is, maybe you sh you're not going to be able to trust it right away or there's something off about it. Who or what's coming towards Leo? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I feel like this is related to a partnership here. There's something new coming, but maybe there's more to it than meets the eye. We'll see. Let's see. What, do, what deck do I want? Do I want this one? No. I want to use this new one. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box right below this video. There's also links there to personal readings, my book. Love Tarot Made Easy, which is um, available in paperback and ebook. All right, Spirit, tell me more about who or what is coming towards Leo in love. Who or what is coming towards Leo in love? Oh, I got two. The Hangman, the Knight of Swords. Something's definitely coming in, and it's coming in fast with the Knight of Swords. This could be some sort of communication, a message, or just swift action. Justice, Libra energy. Interesting. With the Justice card, I have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck here, and the Ace of Cups. So there could be some sort of um, coming together, meeting up. This has to do with love. Whatever this is, has to do with love, a partnership. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Yeah, two of cups. But with the hangman, there might not be a lot of action at first. Or someone's still thinking about something, um, seeing things in a different angle. Tell me more about the hangman. Oh, the devil, Capricorn energy. So there's something off here about this partnership. Let's see, can I get one more? Could be um, a Capricorn that you're dealing with or just a situation where someone feels a bit stuck or restricted because the hangman and the devil card have those energies of not really moving nine of pentacles what's at the bottom of the deck eight of swords it's about being free um free of fear um seeing a way out of a situation 
Then I have the three of wands. So this this might there might be like a waiting period here. And that's why the hangman is here. Tell me more about the devil. The devil could be a card about restriction, temptations, addictions, unhealthy environments, toxicity, ace of swords. This is about cutting this out. This could also be communication. Um, talking about this, but the I feel like these two cards are about freedom. The ace of swords and the nine of pentacles. Can I get one more? King of swords. Ten of wands. Yeah, there's a weight here with this um, devil energy. And I feel like someone wants to get rid of it, cut it out, not be held back anymore. This could be you or your person, but this is this is kind of like what's happening here. There could be uh, some sort of communication or truth about the situation that, that is discussed or that comes in. Let's see, tell me about this Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. And one more for this Knight of Swords. King of Pentacles. This I feel has probably something to do with money. I have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands, a new beginning here, a new opportunity that someone might want to have. This King of Pentacles, um, I feel like this is the person that we have the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords. So I don't know if this is the, the same energy here. Uh, these two are mature energies. The King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, they're not very emotional energies either. Like they don't let emotions get in the way of what they need to do. King of Pentacles is, you know, very... Um, detail oriented they are risk adverse they don't like to take chances um can i get one more for this king of pentacles please and the king of swords you know nothing gets in the way uh they're great communicators ten of swords okay so i feel like okay Interesting, because I have the Ten of Swords, I have the Ace of Swords. So both kings, which I feel might be the same person, like I was saying, they are, it, it's, and I have the Ten over here, the Ten of Wands. So what I'm seeing is whoever this masculine energy is with the King of Swords, King of Pentacles, they are taking care of a problem. A problem that could be due to obligations, attachments, burdens, responsibilities, um, something that is difficult to end with the Ten of Swords, um, something that could lead to financial difficulty or something having to do with finances because the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, that's not King of Pentacles energy. So I feel like this is what they're dealing with um, because the King of Pentacles is very stable, very financially secure. Um, usually they, they do the right thing the first time um, so I feel like there's this is someone that's taking care of a problem. And then I have the, the Libra card, uh, the Justice card. So this is about making things what, right. I can't talk today. Finding balance. Can I get some information, Spirit, about this Justice card? This could be a legal matter. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Can I get some more insight, please, into this Justice card? Page of Swords. Someone's trying to figure something out here with the Page of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, Seven of Cups, sorry. And then the Knight of Cups. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck again. So, okay, I'm seeing a few things here. With the Seven of Cups, this is options. Um, and then with the Page of Swords, it's like someone's trying to figure out their options here. Pick the right cup. Um, what's the smartest choice? What's the most logical choice? Especially with the Justice card here. What's the more rational choice? Um, this is somebody who, you know, they have the Knight of Cups, so it could have something to do with, you know, an offer of some sort. 
This could be a law, um, a love offer or a employment offer. Um, but with the Page of Swords as well, I'm getting someone wanting to talk and maybe trying to figure out how to say something. Let's see. Can I get one more for the, this Knight of Pentacles? Uh, why can't I talk today? I'm seriously having trouble. <laughs> Can I get some uh, insight into this Knight of Cups, please? What is this Knight of Cups about? Six of Pentacles. This is like someone wanting to give you this cup, make you some sort of an offer here. Again, with the balance, um, this is like almost like a could be an apology to make things right here. Ooh, we have the High Priestess. Oh, so this could be like um, a situation that you're not aware of. Secrets, mystery with the High Priestess. Um, someone being guided by their intuition. So many pentacles I'm seeing in this spread. Can I get one more for this High Priestess? Four of Swords. Yeah, it's it's almost like there's no communication or someone isn't aware of something with the Four of Swords and the, and the High Priestess. There's no action being taken. There's um, a, an air of mystery. And you had something like this in your last reading. I'll have it like linked up in the cards. Um, it's almost like someone is keeping something to themselves. Can I get more insight into this Four of Swords High Priestess energy for Leo? Oh, King of Wands. Again, with this masculine energy. Someone needing to get something done. Someone being bold with the King of Wands. What does this King of Wands want? What do they want? Three of Cups again, yeah. It's like someone wants to come together, reunite, get together. Give me some insight into these masculine energies. I really feel this is the same person. Um... Spirit, tell me more about this person that Leo is dealing with or is coming towards Leo. Spirit, give me some insight into this person, please, that Leo is dealing with or is coming towards Leo. What do we need to know about them? Peaceful, calm, and balance. Oh, balance is very important. Okay, what else can you tell me about this person? What else do we need to know? Successful, accomplished, and stable. That's that King of Pentacles energy. Earth energy again. What else can you tell me about this person? Balanced, stable. I feel like money is important here. Or there's something here to do with money. Can I get one more, please? For Leo, the person that Leo is dealing with. But with the false person, I'm getting like hidden feelings here. Masculine, divine masculine. Yes, there's a masculine energy that you are, um, that, that's here, that, that's here. And I feel like with this false person, now that I have the high, high priestess here with the four of swords, it's like there's something here that's not out in the open. Um, I don't think it's deception per se. Um, I just think that this isn't something that's been possibly discussed or it's probably happening behind the scenes someone taking some sort of action based off of their feelings and it's going to lead to something new with the child card so let's see what's next what do we need to know spirit can i get some insight into where this is headed next what's next for leo when it comes to love five of swords some sort of conflict this could be an argument. Um, it could be deception. Someone that's not being fair. Uh, I don't know if this is some, what's going to happen to you or if this is something your person is dealing with. Tell me about, okay, nine of wands. Interesting. Guards are up. I feel like someone has to fight here. Yeah, two of cups. It's like fighting for... A partnership or there's a fight in a partnership now I don't know if this is a third party situation it hasn't shown up yet in the cards 
um, that I've seen. What was I gonna say? I got distracted. Um, but if, if there is an issue within a partnership, it's that devil energy that we saw from the previous spread. If that resonates for you, um, let me know in the comments. Um, because this Two of Cups has shown up again with these other two cards. So I think there's something going on in a partnership. I just don't know if it's a partnership that you are in with this person, Leo, or if this is outside of you. Let's see. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Why is this Five of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Five of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some sort of drama or conflict here. Can I get one more for this Five of Swords? Woo woo. Excuse me. Oh, wow. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. So it's almost like... Wow, and the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like someone's not happy or there's 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 a fallout from an offer being extended. And it's funny because I feel like this is something that would make the other person very happy. So I don't think this is an offer that you won't be happy with, Leo. I think you would be very happy with this offer. But for some reason, there's drama here. There's conflict. And it could have something to do with this uh, Earth energy, this this Queen of Pentacles. Typically, they are already in some sort of a commitment, so that's why I thought about, you know, maybe this third party situation could really apply for some of you. Tell me about this Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Five of Cups. Wow, another cup. Yeah, it okay. I get some more about this nine of wands there's some um back and forth action here with this eight of wands and there's that king of wands um this king of wands is doing something and um at the bottom of the deck i have the page uh no not the page the knight of wands so they're definitely taking action here this king of wands right after that i have the ten of cups so I feel like they're definitely going to try to go after their own happiness here. Or, um, this is what they are trying to attain, to seek. But there's resistance with the Nine of Wands, um, like a barrier. Now, I don't know if you and this person are speaking, Leo. I don't know if there's lack of trust. Um, maybe you don't trust this person's intentions. Um, I feel like something must have happened here with the past because I have the Five of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Some of you might, you know, either either you're the one that's not happy with this offer, even though I feel like a lot of you would be, but I do see that as a possibility, or someone's not happy with this offer. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Can I get some more for this Five of Cups? Seven of Cups. So interesting. I'm getting like, um, this person must have made a mistake in the past because now they're communicating something differently. This is that King of Wands that chose a cup. They want to choose the right cup. That's from the previous spread. And it's almost like they must have made a mistake in the past to want to come to you with this type of offer. And I feel like there's a lack of trust. Like you don't, you're not very trusting or this person has been through a lot to get to you and make you this offer. Yeah, 10 of cups. They want to talk about this or at least take some action towards what they feel is their happy ending here. Yeah, three of cups. You are their happy ending or coming together is their happy ending. This is what would make them happy or make you very happy. Someone's definitely happy here. And then I feel like the others, you know, there's some other lingering drama. 
Can we get some more insight on this Two of Cups, please? Ten of Swords. Okay. So there could be, uh, there could have already been an ending between you, or there is an ending of a, of a partnership that's taking place in the near future. The Moon, Pisces Energy. Again, I feel like this might be happening behind the scenes for a lot of you. Eight of Swords feeling stuck someone could have been feeling stuck and is now ready to move forward i have the cherry at the bottom of the deck cancer energy makes a lot of sense so okay so i feel like this is someone making some sort of move there is a feeling of restriction of being stuck with the eight of swords this is somebody that want yeah the page of cups right after that they want to make some sort of an offer here so i mean it's almost like this person's writing in to extend this offer to you like like as soon as something here ends, they're coming in. Or after an ending between you and this person, they're coming in. And I feel like if that is the case, both both in both cases, I feel like there might be a bit of a surprise because I have the moon here. I had the high priestess. It's like there's some there's some serious moves going on behind the scenes here they could even show up unannounced i mean i i see that and I mean, it could be that this person also wants to apologize to move forward with you or or share share their emotions or feelings with you in order to move this forward so we're going to look at what are their true intentions what are they really thinking or feeling about you what do you need to know about them um clearly there's some sort of moves that are coming in the near future because this is a very big offer here with the knight of pentacles ace of pentacles we have the eight of wands page of cups this is communication uh the chariot i mean uh three of cups some sort of a reunion here i mean i do see i do see some something happening um, whether you see it or co coming or not i don't think matters Leo, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, leaving a comment if this resonated. Um, all of that helps the channel grow and I just like hearing from you guys so I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. Um, thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.